Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is Kinkoni MB. So this part is uh, used for DC energy meter and it also made by ESP32 module and use INA226 chip for monitor the DC battery voltage and current. So this part uh, you can use for monitor your battery system and it has 6 channel DC input uh, for monitor the voltage and the current and in this video i will show you the hardware details and show it how it works in home assistant by esp home okay let's look at the hardware details firstly okay let's look at this king Kong mb board you can see this is in front and this is the terminal and this is the back and it also support install on the din rail you can see uh, so that you can install in your power distribution box very easily and you will see that we have also designed the new MLN cover uh, for this MB. Uh, so let's look at how we print using our laser device uh, to print all labels on the cover. And after print this label, so you can easy to understand uh, every pin define. Uh, you can see uh, that we have total 16 channel input uh, for monitor different DC load and the USB and the Ethernet. And this is the uh, reset for ESP32. And this is for download or define by yourself this function and the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi antenna for ESP32 and also support 4G module if you install 4G module you can use this hole you can see this camera hole can install uh, this Wi-Fi antenna and this have the DC uh, 12 to 24 volt for power supply so you can use different power supply and this, this is for IS485 interface uh, for A and B for IS485 communication so you can see this have a LCD. The LCD is used by the SSD 1306 display. So that's the display also supported by ESP Home. And this is the power LD. Okay, let's open this cover and see the PCB in details. And we can open this part. And I have removed this uh, cable, antenna cable. And now you can look at this PCB and this is in front of the PCB and this is the energy meter chip INA226 as you can see there are many different chip so this every channel can mount different load by the voltage and the current and this we have used the ESP32 module and this have our 4G socket, the 4G module socket, and this is a display. Uh, this is our 4G module. You can see this is SIM 7600. So if you want, let this energy meter date post to your own card server. So you can plug in uh, this module and maybe you can write your own Arduino code or config by ESP home so that send all this information data to your cloud server by internet so now I can remove it okay the so next we will connect with the load and work in home assistant I will show you how to use it in home assistant okay let's look how to use this one and connect with the load and you can see I will use this as a load uh, just 10 ohm resistance this is 100 power uh, just for testing 
put that here. And you can see this terminal also is removable. So this is easy to replace and connect with the wire. So you can see I can use this terminal connect at here because this is 12 volt and also you can use 24 volt. I just testing so I use a 12 volt and this black is ground. So this you can see is ground. So this is for my power supply. But this time I will use a multimeter. So I will test the current and compare with the meter on the display and on the home assistant. So you can see I can set to the ampere just uh, the DC ampere uh, use this way you can see ampere ampere and put it here resistant and the power you can see the power will go through to my multimeter positive just connect it here so the power will go through this multimeter and then go out at this way then I use a cable connect with this this is channel 1 you can see this is channel 1 input positive and this channel 1 input negative so I will use this smart cable uh, for power in just connect with this one here and this out then will go through to the resistance okay so now you can see the current will from this power supply go to this way and go to this meter and out of this meter and at here then go to this input positive at here this input channel 1 and this channel 1 output to this resistant and this resistant out to back to the ground so this is the whole current directions now you can see I can connect with my Ethernet cable just connect with it because I have already downloaded the firmware so I am not connected with the USB cable if you want uh, download the firmware just connect the USB cable to your Raspberry Pi or to your server's USB port and uh, next I will connect with my power supply 12 volt and you will see it's here power on the power LED is on and now you can see the display have showed you can see the voltage of channel 1 is 11.6 volt and the ampere is 1.1 ampere and my multimeter is 1.09 it's almost 1.1 ampere so it's the difference is normal okay let's back to my computer let's check the web page this is the Kinkuni MB and you can see the box and the PCB and how to connect with the load you can see I just connect with this uh, power to input and this output to load and back to the ground of the power supply uh, this voltage uh, power voltage range is from 1 to 36 volt so it's enough for your battery to use some battery is 12 volt and some battery is 24 volt so you just connect with it and the max support current is 8 ampere if you want to uh, detect much large current you just need to change this resistance just uh, uh, this resistance of INA226 chip you can change this value that we can monitor different current value okay you can see the pin define uh, which channel 1 and which is channel 6 and uh, okay this is INA226 chip, so that we have used this chip. 
So it's very easy to configure by ESP home. You can see, I just configure the address, and uh, you can use the current and the power and the voltage. And back to the home assistant, you can see this is our MB dashboard. In this dashboard, you can see we can totally see six channels the energy meet. And in every channel, you can see the bus voltage. The bus voltage just is the power of the load. And this is the current. And this is the power. The power according to the voltage and the current. And this is a short voltage. This is very slow because this voltage is on the resistance. So this is very small, very small. Uh, you can see this is the current and this is the voltage. And we can click and you can see the history of the voltage. And you can click and you can see the history of the current. So you can see this monitor as uh, a watch and the current and for your battery. So you can connect with every different channel, such as this is channel 2 and the channel 3 and the channel 4 from your different DC load. So you can use this board to mount the DC battery system. Okay, this is uh, from the home assistant. And also you can see here in our form uh, that you can find the MP board ESP32 pin defined. So every pin defined uh, which I square C bus and uh, I square C bus address and uh, you can see the 4G and the S45 pin defined, you can find it here. And if you have used the home assistant, also we have prepared the YAML file for you. So you can see you just copy and paste this config file to your home assistant so you can direct it to use as this dashboard. So that will be very easy, just directly to use. And the next, if you want to write your own Arduino source code, and we have supplied the source code demo, how to read 16 channel, the voltage and the current. This is the demo, how to read it, you can see, uh, how to connect the wire, and how to config the file, and how to in install and download the Arduino library, and how to running this code and this is the result. So it's very details. All our code have shown the details. And if you want to use the 4G module, that is how to use the 4G module to debug the AT command. Uh, this is Arduino source code. So this is very useful uh, software document for you to print your own project or print, make your own software. Okay, this is King Kong the MB board. Uh, thanks for watching.